Hey guys, what's up? So today we have a uh, Ward sales brochure. Um, so this is a recent addition to the collection. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one because this is my first um, early Ward sales brochure with this body style. I have always loved this body style and have never had any actual literature with it. Uh, so I was pretty excited to get this. Um, I want to say this is from around 1966, 1967, based on some of the stuff that's in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, on the front cover, you've got a beautiful uh, Ward Lodestar, and it says, Ward, you couldn't buy a better bus to save their lives. So there's your front cover, and this Ward... Um, it does have a school name on it. It says West Rusk Public Schools. Uh, so I don't know where that is, but that was one of their buses. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. Um, on the back of the front cover, you've got a picture of the Ward plant. Um, so you can see there's the plant. Got all those buses in the background and chassis and stuff like that. Um, the next page actually has a... Um, letter from the uh, president of Ward. I actually read this letter. It's basically talking about how the year previous they did really well um, and in their sales and selling buses and making buses and um, just kind of thanking everybody for uh, purchasing their product and you know all the uh, dedicated um, people who helped build the buses and all that. So that's basically what that letter is talking about. Um, going to the next page, we've got, this, this is pretty interesting, so, um, some of you may have seen some of these photos and, and past, um, like I know I've got a school bus fleet that has pictures of this, um, but they rolled a bus down a hill, so it actually starts at the top where you can see the bus progressively, uh, rolling down the hill for a strength test, and then there's a picture of it laying on its side. Uh, but what I think is really cool, you can see here it says Our Hill, A Real Challenge. I read this right here, and this is basically explaining the hill and all that stuff. And down at the bottom, they challenged the other manufacturers to bring a bus to the hill to roll it down. And they say that they will make sure that all of the test conditions are the same, so that way when they rolled the other bus, it would roll just like the Ward did. Uh, just so they could test to see how their bus stood up compared to a ward. Um, and I think that's really cool that they challenged the other five manufacturers at the time. Um, so, you know, it makes me wonder if any of the manufacturers actually um, took a bus to ward and rolled it down their hill. Um, I don't know. I just think that's a really cool little, little uh, thing in this brochure. So the next two pages, we've got a body structure diagram, which I don't think I've seen of a ward before or at least a ward of this age um so that's pretty cool it pretty much takes the whole top of the page um and i i love seeing diagrams that are big like this uh with color so underneath that you got a few different pictures you got your uh bumper and then your drip rail and you got this uh panel here that's at the top where like the school name would normally go um on an older ward that's just like a flat panel you can see there's a uh, strengthened piece of metal that goes right behind that panel and then right here is your view of a actual uh, ward rub rail of the time and then you've got a shot of the internal and external uh, walls and this is just showing you where the side wall meets the floor and then goes down below like where the skirting would be and then um, right here you got a little paragraph about let's see it says ward engineered for greater strength uh, so you can pause to read that if you'd like Moving on, we've got a underneath uh, floor shot. So, like, there's the bottom of a ward bus floor. Uh, so, the bottom of the body. Um, down here, you've got some diagrams of the actual floor structure. Um, so, this is just kind of breaking down the different pieces of the floor. And then this is, like, what would go down, um, like, these, these right here, what you'd connect the skirts to. And then next, you've got ward seats so you got your inside shot of a ward and then there's your uh, seat um, diagram of like what you know what's actually in the seat so your fabric and your cushion um, and your metal back 
um, ward seats, uh, let's see, unmatched for comfort, eye appeal, rigid installation, minimum, minimum maintenance, long, long life. And then there's a view of the seat with what looks to be like a, a grab rail uh, for someone to grab onto to either sturdy themselves or sit, help sit down or get up or whatever. Um, there's a spring which would be inside of the cushion. And then you've got this photo right here um, talking about uh, reinforced steel. I'm assuming that this has something to do with the actual leg on the seat. And then here's another inside shot of ward seats. Um, so you can see there's that little grab portion where you could uh, grab to get up or I guess sit down or whatever you need to grab onto the seat for. That's that's where you do it. Um, so that looks like that's brown fabric maybe um then you've got uh the actual seat backs um right there and then there's your uh plastic seat option um like for maybe a prison bus or, or city bus or something like that um i i could not see that being done uh they're fiberglass school bus seats rather but i couldn't see that really being done to a school bus but maybe maybe some schools ordered fiberglass seats i don't know um here's your interior shot with the green seats this is kind of cool because you can see there's another ward parked right behind it and from the looks of that i think it would be a chevy and then this right here you've got your driver's seat and it says we consider the driver's comfort too so you got it looks like two different options for seats uh, and this one actually has a little armrest on the side so that's pretty cool but there's your driver's seat options. So this next part uh, it says we've got an exclusive window design so this is kind of showing you the exclusive window design uh, and this bus right here has black belt so possibly a Kentucky bus possibly not I don't know this seems kind of early I think it was before black belt was required there um, but that's just showing an option. Right here you've got a single sash which just means this window would drop straight down um, instead of having like a split sash where it just goes down like that um, and you can also see the emergency door option for uh, the side there um, right here you've got your transit style windows for like a uh, transit style bus city bus commuter bus airport shuttle whatever and then down below they kind of show like how the window actually works so there's your um, window latch like to open it um, and there's the inner fittings like the tracks that the windows would slide up and down on on the next page, you've got Ward, built to last a lifetime. You've got this beautiful picture of the bus that's on the front cover. Um, you can see West Rusk Public Schools. It's a Lodestar, uh, no stop sign. And then there's the back. Um, this bus does not have many taillights on it, which is kind of an interesting look. you got your two taillights there, but I would assume those would be turn signals. Um, so you'd have these for your brake lights, but that's it. So that's an interesting look. And then um, there's that distinctive older Ward roof cap. And then you've got Ward on the back bumper. I always like seeing Ward on the back bumper. Uh, it's just like the Amtrans later would have Amtran on their back bumper. That's something I used to see a lot as a kid. Um, and then we've got some text here to go along with the photo if you'd like to uh, pause and read it. Right here we've got a photo of the uh, windshield and right here it says Ward's maximum all direction visibility gives the driver an edge in safe driving. Um, so there's your look facing forward. So basically what the driver would see. Down below you've got a view looking back um, from the front of the bus. There's a diagram pointing out the driver's sight line. Um, over here we've got the switch panel which this is pretty cool how it says Ward right here. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, but that'd be pretty cool to find a switch panel like that in good condition. Um, there's a view of the uh, wiring harness that would, I assume, connect to the actual uh, switch panel. So that's kind of your look at that. Um, and then this kind of shows you where all the wiring is to the switch panel. So the switch panel basically just lifts up um, like a lot of older buses do. So this would just lift up like this, like it would come forward. And then that would be your access to the... Um, wiring and stuff like that on the next page you've got your front shot of that uh, lodestar um, just kind of showing you what the front of the bus looks like 
if you look like if you cut the roof off and the front off and you just kind of look at that part right there you can definitely see the distinctive ward shape from like the 80s um, so this really at the end of the day this bus right here is what would set up the design for what would later become you know the volunteer and then the Amtran 3800 or Amtran conventional because that's the technical term um, and then later the CE so this this is like the CE's great great grandfather if you would want to call it that um, and then down here you've got your two rear end or rear door options uh, you've got one with the bottom glass and then you have one without the bottom glass um, let's see you got your uh, split leaf door so the the versions you could get you could get one in one out outward opening and then you could get a jackknife um, so pretty standard for what the door options would have been at the time um, there's your side door for like a bus that either has like a luggage bay in the back or just an extra door if they wanted it um, there's your exit window for like a rear engine transit Moving on to the next page, you've got uh, ward heaters are a match for any kind of weather. Um, so this is just kind of showing you the different heaters. Like this would be your driver console heater. Um, and just the different views and the different vents that the heaters would have. This right here shows you the way it would be dispersed throughout the bus. So you've got like the front of the bus. Here's the switch panel console and then it would go down and then you might have one floor heater right here and then a like a step well heater right here um, so that would just basically show you in what ways the heat would come out of the bus on the next page we've got Ward M3000 transit coaches so this is a front engine Ward transit in my opinion absolutely beautiful bus um, this one has a international chassis uh, you can probably see the IH emblem there but absolutely beautiful bus this one says Burns Flat School District 1-7 so that's again a beautiful bus so on the next page we've got the actual transits um, this is like what 66 would have been if it was a 1966 Ford RE um, so this is like a, a multi-function bus right here um, right there you've got another version this looks like it's got a high headroom option um, but there's the, what looks to be standard headroom version of the Ward RE. Um, this, the Ward RE is just, just hard to find. I, I don't think I've honestly seen a picture of one, like, I, other than brochures. Um, and if I have, I can't think of it. And then there's another option. Um, this one, that one's got a side door on the back there, obviously, because it's a, rear engine uh this one right here looks like it was actually painted up as a school bus but it's white i would assume they used it as like an activity bus right here is the actual uh school bus version with this style of ward entrance door so that's pretty interesting um it looks like it's got ward on the front bumper so that's that's kind of cool i didn't notice that the first time i looked at this um oh that one's got it too interesting uh anyway and then down here looks like just another version of the um, transit style RE where it's not in a school bus configuration. This one actually has a sedan door, so that's pretty cool. Next, you've got your seating options for like your fancier buses that are not for school use. So there's your fiberglass seats. Uh, you got your different type of like coach bus seats um, that you could get in these buses. Uh, so that's your uh, optioning on that there's your uh, split sash window option along with the full drop windows and then there's your transit style windows there's your uh, shot looking inside from the back there's a shot of the driver's area which is very very bare uh, compared to buses of today and then there's you another view of the driver's area of what I assume that's the front engine and then that looks to be the rear engine um, but what's cool about this is it actually has the option numbers with it, so that's pretty cool. On the next page, we've got the rear shot of a uh, Ward RE with a air condition optioned on it. Um, I think that's the, it might be the one that was like, uh, maybe not, I don't know which one that is. 
Um, this one right there is the one that was like done up as a school bus, but it was white. There's the uh, bus that had the sedan door. There's your inside shot, and you can see where the air conditioning unit is on top of the bus. And then there's your optional underbody storage. And then uh, there's a your uh, rooftop. Well, you can see your dome lights, but it also looks like there's a, a vent up there. Uh, right here, you've got another factory photo. Um, looks like there are some buses right in there. Um, and employee cars, I'd assume. Uh, but that's that's pretty cool just to see the factory. Um, I think that's a factory, is it? Yep, Ward Plant. Uh, so that might be... Oh, okay. So this is the Ward Plant in Austin, Texas, which I didn't know they had one in Austin, Texas. And this is the Ward Plant in Conway, Arkansas, at the front of the book. Um, that's really cool. I had no idea that they had a plant in Austin, Texas. Maybe that's where they made, like, the multi-purpose buses. I don't know. Um, and then on the back, you've got some more pictures of that Ward Lodestar. So this one says, any way you look at it, feature for feature, um, well, that says Ward Certified Safe. But any way you look at it, feature for feature, Ward is first. Ward school buses distributed in this area by, and that's where you'd have your dealer information. But you've got some really good photos of this Ward Lodestar when it would have been brand new. I mean, absolutely beautiful bus. I would love to see one of these in person today um there's your rear end and like i said i've always loved this older ward uh body looks like this bus might be different than this bus up here um but anyways i've always loved this older ward body just the way it looks there's your side shot um it looks like this one up here just says school bus which that's something ward used to do with their uh, buses like their promotional buses they'd use in brochures from what I've seen um, but like I said absolutely beautiful bus um, always have loved this body style and um, I wish there were more out there or more left honestly even in non-running condition I just love to see an older award like this um, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, that's pretty much it um, I'm happy to have finally gotten one of these older Ward sales brochures like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and yeah.